Caddis Maximus here. We'll see how well I can demonstrate this. A little clutch screwdriving torque limiter. This is an old-timey kind of tool used for drill presses and old-school quarter drills. These are were common in the 50s, 60s, and really started going out in the 70s once variable speed drills became available. But that's what this thing is, is it's just a clutch. So when you had no way to limit, really limit the torque or to accurately drive things like small cabinet screws. What they had, and there were a variety of these. This is just a small, simple Craftsman. There were, you know, gear reduction units for higher torque applications. But if we see here, we can turn the screwdriver bit, and the back end doesn't turn, and vice versa. But we'll find that they can kind of press in a little bit. And when you press hard enough, then there ends up being enough friction to start turning the screwdriver bit. And to kind of show how old school these are, we have a little set screw. This, get that a little looser here. The screws, this type of design is for push screwdrivers. Old school push screwdrivers no, uh, in the United States known as Stanley Yankees. But that's the type of bits it's designed to use for be used with I should say. We have a set of uh, surprisingly enough left hand threads little cast aluminum body and we can see exactly how simple this thing is. What we have and you do not oil these and also another tip you don't oil cordless uh, nail guns either. Air nail guns yes but cordless ones no because they also have a friction drive system the oil ruins them and so that's all this is. There's a spring to keep these two cones separated that when you start putting pressure on them, they start biting in and transferring force, just like a clutch. These things also were kind of known as drill press screwdrivers. So you could drive screws and somehow actually get them to seat in an appropriate position. We're going to give that a shot here. So the trick with using these in the drill press is you get it all centered, set up, and set on the screw with a bit of pressure. Even though this is a short little screw, actually turning with a flathead screwdriver is actually kind of tough. Um, and that's one thing about these is the straight on pressure and the amount of force that you can exert with the drill press is surprising. And you really know it when you drive a screw with one of these and then try to remove it by hand, you're like, wow. So here's the upper casing running, but the screwdrivers, and then you just up, oh, of course it will pop out. Got that back in there. What well, using the drill press handle, it doesn't feel like I'm putting hardly any pressure on it. And that's what makes these amazing is since it's a friction clutch system, you can literally turn a screw microscopic amounts and get it set absolutely perfectly. So there still is an advantage to these in drill presses because one, screws get driven per totally square and you can just get a ton of control. But driving that one screw, this thing's already getting warm. I mean, you would gall this thing out and cause it to weld if you tried, you know, probably just 20 screws in a row. But there are heavier duty versions and I think I've see, I have seen them over the years. Just never really thought about it till now because I didn't have a very worthy drill press. So anyway, that's the deal with one of these clutch torque screwdrivers. Best thing is to maybe grind a quarter inch hex, uh, you know, adapter so you can use standard quarter inch hex bits. I may have just mentioned <laughs> Main Japan. Anyway, there's a kind of a there's a few different designs of these out there, and I'll probably start keeping my eye out for them now. But thought kind of neat device that went the way of the dodo but still does have some applications such as driving screws with the drill press anyway thanks for watching